Hello and welcome back to Avorian. My name is Manj and I'm here at a semiconductor factory here. I've been uh, racking my brains around the whole trading and things like that. And I've kind of, I think I've got a little bit of a hang of it now. But uh, yeah, I've never been very good at this side of these sorts of games. Anyway, uh, what I have done is I found using just basically the heat map and the search within the map itself to try and figure out what the hell is in demand. And where? Well, 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 I have filled my cargo holds with silicon. Silicon, silicon, silicon. Which I bought at minus five and I'm now selling at plus 37. That is a profit of around about 300 or so thousand, I think, or so. Um, that is doing not too bad at the moment on the whole selly buy type thing. So uh, I'm up to 8.5 million. Um, however, I have also done a fair few other things off camera just while I've been trying to get a grip of my finances. Because if you remember, the last episode, we discovered that founding a mine was like super expensive. We needed a good sort of 15, 16 million comfortably to go and found one mine. And I want to found several. Now, there's also the whole kind of like, OK, well, what's in demand and where do we put a mine? Well, given the demand, as you can see by the heat map here, of silicon. A silicon mine might be a good idea in any of these sectors where there are factories like the solar cell factories here that buy silicon by the bucket loads or the semiconductor factories here that also buy silicon by the bucket load. There is a silicon mine over here. There is a silicon mine over here. Now that I've bought silicon from both of them at minus five, the, uh, the market rate, and now probably uh, they're going to be plus 24 or so on and so forth. There's another silicon mine down here, however, that I haven't bought from. Uh, but now I will need... <laughs> the thing is, what happens is if I sell a, a bulk load of silicon to these pe people, right? What happens is the um, the price goes from, say, plus 37, which it currently is. I'll come back to this sector again later. And it'll be, uh, it'll be like, plus two, if that. Because <laughs> I've just sold a bunch. To the factories here and uh, it seems to have a massive impact on that so sell the stations gold is doing very well at the moment silicon is still registering at plus 37 but I, I don't believe it as soon as i leave this sector or come back it will be different because the same thing happened up here at the solar cells i sold to one solar cell factory and then they went from plus 37 to plus five and at minus five plus five it's just not really worth my time anyway so i could go and do a silicon run again there is a semiconductor manufacturer over here. So I could do a run there and do the whole thing again and get a whole bunch there. But you might have noticed the eagle-eyed of those out you. There is a big green square here over this with a with a thing. And you might also notice those also eagle-eyed of you that have another ship. <laughs> I did go out of my way and I bought another uh, Mobius class freighter. Um, set it up. It's called the Pioneer, which I know I've used to death, but I don't know what else to call it. There's Buccaneer, now there's Pioneer, there's Frontier, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go with all the ears. They're all going to be called ear something, I don't know. But anyway, because the Buccaneer has got a merchant captain in it and is set up to do trade routes. Now, uh, this one here is currently set up to do uh, about 300,000 credits in profit and takes about 20 minutes to do it, which is way slower than I can do it myself. But at least, you know, I'm not doing it myself. And the fact that I'm doing it at the same time means that we're between us making quite a lot of money. The other thing that I've done in order to just bolster my finances as well is sell resources, which you can do at any resource uh, depot, resource depot like that one there. Just sell like quarter of a million titanium or something like that if you've got it and away you go anyway let's go to this silicon mine let's go and see what his prices are these days and uh we have a route please let's we'll see if we could do another silicon run uh just to boost that kind of finances up meanwhile my miners are still mining my trade ship being escorted by the miscreant after it was rebuilt after that nasty incident with the pirates so it should be fine. So if we look at this, buy from stations, the silicon is minus five. Perfect. We'll go and get that. Thank you very much. Good, sir. Um, one of my captains has just left me something. Or not. Never mind. Screw it. It's over. So 
Yeah, he's got about four minutes left on the Buccaneer for that one. I don't know if the uh, miscreant is contributing at all. I don't think it does. It doesn't really have any uh, systems in place for, for sort of commerce and trading and stuff. I've left that all in the Buccaneer. What I got in my ship here now is um, the, the crappy, well, it's not crappy, the blue trade system there. But uh, yeah, as you can see, <laughs> slightly different setup here. Still got this bloody warp enhancer thing. Still struggling to get those. But anyway, another subject for another time. One of the things that I'm realizing is now that I've got so many ships, I'm having to pay a lot of crews and a lot of captains. I'm lurking, l losing about 50,000 credits per ship, uh, give or take, depending on the size of it. Some of the, you know, the, the smaller scoundrels and stuff like that are closer to 40 than they are 50. But the buccaneer type Mobius class freighters here are, are upwards of 50 sort of thousand. So uh, I, I am essentially running these ships bleeding cash and I really need to kind of focus on economy 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 so as well as founding a mine which mines are great because once you build them they just sort of pour resources out and you know as long as ships keep coming and buying them then you're making money it doesn't require necessarily um stuff to be delivered to it in order to produce that goods it just needs crew and off it trots uh so uh I also want to set up some stations as well. Some stations. Now, stations are a little bit different depending on... You've got several tiers of station. You can get like the high tier ones where they, they sell the goods at a crazy price, like thousands and thousands for like an anti-grav unit or war robots or something, just to pick on a few. Um, so we're going to go 1754. Another cargo hold full of silicon. Thank you very much. That's 800,000 credits worth. And we're selling for about 1.2 million there or so. Um, yeah, you can set up those really big fancy stations that, that sell, uh, buy and sell really fancy big things. Semiconductor manufacturer, that's where we're going. Um, or you can, you can get the lower tier stations, which are the ones I'm probably going to be looking at initially. Things like water collector, gas collectors, and um, what are they? Um, solar, solar energy cell makers and stuff like that, solar collectors. Uh, because they, there again, they, they just collect and then they sell the resources. They don't need things to be delivered in order to do that. Uh, they don't make as nearly as much money you know, in the long run, but, you know, they're a steady, sensible income. And one of the other things that I want to do at some point... <laughs> uh, oh, God, where is it? Semiconductor manufacturer, there we go. Is get another ship. I know, another one. I'm going to get a lot of ships, basically, eventually, in the end of this. There's going to be a lot of escort ships, mining ships, and stuff like that. But I want to get a ship, like uh, another Mobius class here, that specializes in R-type salvage lasers. And I'm going to send it out on salvaging runs. And I'm going to need another uh, phalanx, phalanx class corvette to go and escort it around and things like that. Um, or two, I don't know. Two is better than one, after all. But one of the tips that I got on um, both the game and, you know, comments and stuff like that, salvaging missions are quite good because they not only produce cash, raw resources in terms of salvage, and also components as well. There's like a steady stream of them coming through. Uh, let me just double check, actually, because I, know I haven't even checked the thing. Sell the stations, me, you, uh, plus 32 on the silicon, 1754. Excellent. Uh, what? No, that, thank you. Trade goods. Uh, sell. So that's what? 662.1754. How much do we get? 1.16 million. About 300,000. Bang. Just like that. But that's that that trade route now ruined. But I can't do it again. Because <laughs> that silicon mine will now just sell it at plus 20 or whatever. And this will now buy it at minus 5. So generally I figured out that trading is, is uh, a sort of a once only operation. At least for a while. Well, you, you do one trade run and then you move on to another part of the sector. And this whole heat map thing is just brilliant. It is so good. As long as you could find the manufacturers um, making, I don't know, in this case, silicon and something to buy it from. And the wiki online is really good for figuring out what actually buys certain resources as well. So there we go. Anyway, there's 300,000. Thank you very much, Buccaneer. He's still got 19 minutes left on his trade run, so... Bingo, there's 9 million. Thank you very much. Okay, so yeah, I want to get a freaking mine in. And that is going to take me up to 16 million. Now, founding a station takes another like 4 or 5 million, I think, depending on the station. And you need a shipyard. You then need to transport it to where you're going. I then need a design of 
a station that I want to apply and somewhere to park it. So if we have a look, what did I mention? I mentioned water, yeah? Let's have a look at water. Water. Holy cow, that is in demand. What take what 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 buys water? Well, sheep ranch, for example, right there. That will love to buy water. Any kind of habitats, any food and manufacturing like that. Uh, habitat there, look, see? Biotapes, they'll take water. So there's a lot, there's plenty of stuff around here that will, there's a water collector there. I bet he's doing well. <laughs> there's a water collector there. But placing a um, a water collector station, right, say in this sector here, Birth of Darkness 4, that's got a sheep ranch in it and a habitat. Okay, so you've got two stations there that will be constantly buying water. So a simple water collector station right there will do well. Will do well. I've also, by the way, I've also allied myself with these guys. Uh, it was much, much cheaper and easier to ally myself with these guys than it was the church. I think they wanted, well, like 1.2 million or something. I gave these guys like 800,000. Done. Um, <laughs> they were happy with that. So there we go. I'm going to get a water collector. I think we're going to put it there. Is there even a shipyard there? There is. Do you know what? Screw it. Should we go into it now? I haven't got a... thing is, I haven't got a station design I want to apply. I have some station designs, but they're crazy expensive. Um, because I'm recording this. Before Saturday is chilling in the building. Uh, so before I build a space station. Well, let's go and have a look at the sector at least anyway. All right, here we go. So there's, there's lots in this sector. So he's building a station here. First of all, you're going to be well protected. Uh, so there we go. There's a shipyard. Let's have a little look. Let's think what we can do. So we talk to this guy and we build ship, right? And then I think we just go station founder. And then I don't know what. <laughs> and then I don't know what. We just get a, like a really cheap little boat. It doesn't matter. It could just be any of these things. And then you, you, you fly it to where you want it to be. A little miner or something like that. Super cheap, isn't it? Ah, it's cute. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. As long as it flies and stuff. And then you can take it to wherever you need to take it. And as long as you've got a station, this ship will be able to found stations. There you go. Now, the actual operation of founding a station, I think, is what costs the money. So I'm not going to buy a ship right now. Uh, like I said, until i got a design I want to apply. So that'll come in a future episode once, um, once I've done my chill and build it and built a bloody space station. The other thing we can do, oh, the hackathon, is bulletin boards. I haven't really done bulletin boards a lot recently. I've been trying to concentrate on other things and getting fleets and stuff operating. Uh, have you wanted to prove yourself your fastest hacker of containers in the galaxy? Now is your chance. Get yourself an injector subsystem of at least level four and meet the game master of the hackathon. This sounds like fun. Okay. Let me get to the equipment dock because I have said module. I have just the thing to go hacking uh, with. So, and I think it's level five. It's a level five beast. Never done the hacking side of things before, but this is going to be good. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let me just uh, bring her to a, a halt here. But anyway, we have pretty good warp range at the moment as well. Okay, what are we not going to need right now? Uh, probably the trading subsystem. Possibly the shield to energy converter, although that does it is very tidy. Let's get rid of you. Right, where's my uh, hacky thing? It's around here somewhere. Code injector. Here it is. An exotic security level six. Hacking range, detection range. Install permanently. Wop wop wop. <laughs> Bring it. Let's go. Okay. Never done this mission before, so this is going to be injured. Okay, meet the Game Master of the Hackathon. Except, let's go. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Okay, um, enemy, enemy operation is smuggling, trading, finding fires and stuff. Oh yeah, I'll come up to that, the Hackathon. Here we go. Meet the Game Master. Let's track this. Where is the Game Master? There he is. Just out of warp range, the bastard. Absolute git. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, you have to warp twice. That's irritating. Let's warp to empty space. Because then we get a faster warp drive recharge. Hopefully, we don't have to kill stuff. Well, let's find out, shall we? I also hope that I don't have to go and find the containers. He just tells me where they are. <laughs> you know, welcome to the hackathon. Are you ready to challenge the best hackers of the containers in the galaxy? Continue. Impossible speeds and flexible rules are contestants 
hack the containers by any means possible. What do I have to do? We give you a target sector with a container field. Get there first and hack the container. And don't forget to collect the hackathon token we put in there. All right. Once you hack the container, a hacked one container, you will learn the coordinates of the next target sector. Sounds interesting. Do you want to join? Let's go. Everybody on their marks. The first target sector is 33880. Can I look at that now? <laughs> 33880. Oh, God, it's got a thing. Right, okay. God damn it. I've lost so much time. Right, here we go. That container in sector blah. Calculating. Come on, warp drive. Calculator ready. Let's go. Seriously, come on. <laughs> Thank you. Damn it. I don't know if we're going to get attacked along here. I, I assume we probably are going to get attacked. Jesus, that is far away. 50 kilometers. I'm coming in. What was our range? Like three or something like that. I can't remember. All right, hang on. I'm draining power real quick here. So the other, one other thing that, that might be quite good in this composition is one of those speed uh, things that just take, take all the safeties off of your speed. <laughs> so you can just go, wee maximum speed. All right, I'm going to drain it down to the green bar and then you know, hold off. Here we go. 13 kilometers now. Okay, I think it was, um, let have a quick check, uh, range 3.7, okay, 3.7, 4, 3, there it is, F, da 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 da, -da. hack, unauthorized site detected emergency signal has been sent out, hacking, 4, I got 4 minutes of hacky hacky, oh my god, I got to sit here for 4 minutes, are you kidding me right now, I got to stay within 3 kilometers, here they come, look, here they come, Can't really move. This is not good. Hold shields. Hold, hold, hold. You are no good. You are no good. You are no match for my freaking main cannon. I have upgraded the weapons on, on my ship, by the way. Uh, I don't know why I'm firing freaking salvage lasers at them. I mean, it's a good idea if they're in range, but they're not. Okay, here we go. More. Fire the main gun! There it is. It took a while to fire. Yeah, you guys are easy. My shields haven't even gone down yet. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll show you the main gun in a second after the fight. Uh, uh, it's good. <laughs> if you can hit things with it, of course. Uh, they're flying around all over the place like this. It's like difficult to do. Three minutes left. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. I thought this like exotic hacking thing would be like, you know, pretty much unstoppable. Are they going to survive this crap for three minutes or are they going to stop coming? Oh, good shot. <laughs> yeah, so I got a main cannon. I got I got a big gun basically on this thing, and um, it's not got the best DPS. It's about fifty DPS or something like that. But it just hits so hard. It takes three slots. Uh, look at that! <laughs> you just graze them with it. Boom. There he goes, there he goes. Right, let's select this thing. Have we got any more coming in? Alright, I've got to make sure I've got to stay in three kilometers, but I want that I want that glowy over there. I don't know. Oh, beautiful. Oh fantastic. Hacker hacked. Hacked. That didn't take that didn't take the three minutes they thought it was going to. Come on, pick that up. Gained one hack token. Thank you very much. That's a chain gun and a premium point defense. Laser exotic. Okay. 
Um, container is empty. Good. So now hack the container in sector three. Do, 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 do. Hackathon. There we go. That one. Only five more to go. Can I can I pick up all the the business around here? Especially the exceptionals. Especially the exceptionals. Only five more to go. Is there a time limit? I don't see a time limit on this thing, so... I'm just going to whip around. Get this. I am so impressed. Like, the Pioneer here. Brand new, spanky new ship. I've got a shield, like, enhancer in this thing. And I have put some, like, big chunky shield generators in there. This shields didn't even go down after all that. I mean, they are only, like, iron pirates and whatever, but, you know... Still, happy days, right? Keep pressing shift rather than control. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to mop this up and then we'll get on to the next hacky hacky th thing. You want to jump away and hopefully I'm not wasting time by doing this. Torps. Yes, give me torps. Alright, next next sector then. Oh god, that's another 50 kilometers away. No problem. Alright, I'll have all my uh, guns ready to go from the offset. Plus torps. Alright, here we go. Hacking. Unauthorized, detected. Emergency signal. Incoming pirate scummage. Here they are. Missed with that opening volley. That's so embarrassing. Didn't miss then. Get down. Get down. Sit down. Have a top. <laughs> hey. He's still going. More of them incoming. Cool. We get a few more hits this time. Sit down. Nice. Very nice. Second hack successful. Alright. Collect the hackathon token. And then... Tell us the next one. Long range double points defense. Exotic. Lovely. Alright. Um, where is it? 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 They're down there. Hackathon. We've got a double jump. Alright, let's um, let's go halfway actually, because I think I think our cooldown is affected by distance. Uh, right. Pick the stuff up. And then we'll go on to that next one. Which is fun. <laughs> the miscreant has finished. Not the miscreant, the buccaneer has finished its trade run. It's just got me 2.5 million. So the captain had a, a big kind of sort of say in in, uh, in what he just procured I think really so while waiting for the warp drive to cool down we can send him off on another thing so the, that's not a sell command sorry um, trade here we go this is the one I want give him a better trade route so long and sort of like that one seems to be better than the other ones yeah, it's difficult because <laughs> I want all the sectors so the thing isn't big enough We'll try that one there and see what he comes up with. And you can move it around and in, uh, it obviously affects how much profit and stuff it calculates here. So it's thinking profit per flight, 365,000. Put the miscreant on there. He's going to trade platinum there. Lovely. Good trade route. Min 25, max minus plus 15. Wonderful. He's a little bit pissy. Um, very little enemy activity. I don't like the situation here. There is a certain probability that we might be attacked. Yeah, 8%, dude. Plus you've got an escort. So calm the... Calm the hell down, yeah? 19 minutes flight time. Profit 
per shipment. Uh, number of shipments two, I think. So uh, you're looking at sort of 600,000 ish profit but like i said he just sent me 2.5 million so let's get him going again he's got the miscreant as an escort trading platinum do it that's another 19 minutes he's going to be up there what a fantastic way to make some money right uh we are one jump away let's do it all right the hack is on it's never taken Three, four minutes. I think as soon as the uh, enemy waves are defeated, they go away. All right, here we go. Have a torpedo. One. Are you cheeky little? Oh yeah, I see you. I see you. It's out of range though. My container now, bitch. where that freaking talk went off. These guys are a bit tougher, it would seem. Are you in range now? Six kilometers out. I don't think you are. Okay. No worries. My point defense kicking butt. Oh, you went smashy smashy. Get you. Get him! Point defense. Defend me. Oh, you look big and angry. We still have a torpedo. Oh, look at all this coming in now. Shield told too far. You're not though, are you? It's difficult. Can't really like maneuver at the moment, so I'm just sitting duck. <laughs> Suck it. These are anti-fighter bastards. They can't fire torpedoes at them. It's really annoying. <laughs> it's like, ah. Have. Oh, you just moved. Yeah, it's the problem with the, like, the, the, the big cannon. I suppose a lot of the rapid fire stuff doesn't really hit either. But, you know, you got this big freaking cannon thing. And it misses most of the time. It's not doing anything, is it? But Oh, when it hits. There you go. <laughs> when it hits. You know, a nice big fat number like that. And it's got a hell of a range on it as well. There he goes. Finally. There we go. The timer. Look, as soon as you defeat the pirate waves, the timer just flies down. Perfect. There we go. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Efficient R minor exotic. I like that. We're getting an exotic per container. It's like wonderful. Okay. Uh, so the next hackathon is over here. One jump away. Lovely. Okay. I'll pick all the stuff up and then we're ahead. We've already got three more to go. Oh, this one's interesting. There's two other secured containers here. Once we've done this one, we might have to go and investigate those other ones. All right. The hack is on. Hackity, 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 hackity. I'm really worried that um, the pirates come in. Where are they? Down there. Find me. Whoop. The daisy. Hello. You can have a torpedo. Boop. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Torpedoes are fun. Torpedoes are fun. Hey! Oops. <laughs> there goes that container. <laughs> Where are the rest of your buddies? Ah, there they are. Hey, uh, you can have a torpedo. Ah, they blew my torpedo up. It's an outrage. May have blown my own torpedoes up. Uh, oh, you are just spilling pieces everywhere, aren't you? Look at all the modules coming out of you. You're like a pinata. You are. No, 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 no. 
Oh, you. You can have a torpedo. You look special. <laughs> Die! Yeah. These guys are rubbish. Here we go, then. They're done. Thank you! Successful hack. Give me your bits. Give me your gubbins. Give me your giblets. Lovely. Oh, an exotic turret control system. Don't mind if I do! <laughs> that is delicious. Right, where are the other ones? There's two more here. Uh, over there. I'm going to go and hack those ones. See what happens. Actually, let's pick up the bits. But let's pick up the bits first. Pick up the bits first. Okay? Like that exotic over there. And the blues. And all of it. Or well, just all of it. Come on, bits and bobs. Come with me. Any one of those damn tractor beam upgrades. Well, that's a module. Pulsing jackhammer. What the hell is a pulsing jackhammer? You know, in this this freaking world. I'll have a look at that in a second. Hang on. Do they, do they, each one of these, do they set off an armed pirate attack? Because that was kind of be annoying. Hacking. I don't know. That one's just three, two, one. Done. Freaking awesome. Ba -da -da. Oh, what is that garbage? What are you securing that stuff for? Oh, look at Oh, wow. Junk, 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 junk. Oh, the junk. All right, you better be better then. Hack. Zzzp. Zzzp, 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 zzzp. I can get used to this hacking stuff. This is fun. Ah, oh, come on! Okay, well, the hackathon stuff is way better. This is... Look at this. I'm going to take it to the research research thing. I'm going to research the living hell out of this lot. But, yeah, that's annoying. Okay, so the next hackathon target is back down here again. Okie dokie. Um, right. Let's go check that one out. Only two more to go. Hack is on. Here we go. Where are they? Oh, down below. One of them's got point defense as well. Right. You can have a torpedo then. You stay away from him. No! Leave me. Right. Bastard. What is going on? <laughs> Targeted the wrong thing, and my turrets just miss for a living. Hey, what? You. Suffer! You are. You are. Lasers. Sick him. Play torpedoes, do you? Have one yourself. You get. <laughs> I don't know. Still bastards, aren't they? This guy needs to die here, though. He died. You! With your shooty shooty. Enough! Enough pew pew from you! Here you go. You guys just seem to stay far away, don't you? I'm closer. It won't hurt you, I promise. Okay, maybe I'll hurt a little bit. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, you the last one. <laughs> Big cannon fun. <laughs> Big cannon fun time. Okay, here we go. Hacky, hacky, hacky. Gibbs! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Premium jewel laser. Me likes! 
Me likes. Right, last one. Uh, three, four, one. Right here. Bingo. I'll have at it in a second. Let me just grab all the shiny stuff again. Any more shiny stuff in you? No. You're out of shiny stuff, aren't you? Disappointing. Unreal. Blues! Last container, then. This is it. Hack is on. Alright, where are they? There are, ooh, right on top of me, straight away. There he goes. You with the shooty shooty. Enough of that. Less of that, please. Thank you. You can have a torpedo. <laughs> Boom! Next. Oh, hello. You! Torpedo time. Bastard! Oh, he's dead. Oh, yeah, he's still shooting at me. He's all, he's all dead. Oh! <laughs> that cannon. That cannon. A group of aliens have arrived. That is not good timing! That is not... We're, we're, we're having a game here. Aliens... Oh, my God. Look at them. There's loads of them. Aliens are not welcome, and I'm using my freaking guns, so instantly they're hostile. This is not good. This changes everything. Oh, you. You right there. Shooty, shooty face. They're quite far away, at least. The aliens are quite far away. Oh, there's an exotic right there, look. How much time left? Three... Three minutes. Gone. Be gone. They're not moving? They're staying put. Okay, good. There's the freaking container. Successful hack. Oh, the pieces around here. Collect the hackathon token. There we go. Economical dual plasma gun. Uh, return to the game master. Lovely. Oh my god, that was awesome. We got so much stuff out of it. Look at all the exotics. Look at the exotics. Ah, oh, they're beautiful. Are you going to give me any more shinies? More shinies, please? More shinies? No? It's so annoying. Honestly. Not generous at all. Shinies! <laughs> Gibbs, shinies! Oh, a scanner booster exotic as well. This is ridiculously profitable, this is. This is ridiculously profitable. I like this. Absolutely. Hey, you making bank just from freaking credits we're picking up while my while Buccaneer is off doing trading. He's sending me quarter of a million credits each freaking ten minutes or so. <laughs> hey, the ships here are dropping credits like absolute loot pinatas. Especially if I blow them up a little bit more. Might squeeze another module out of them or two. There you go, look. Yeah, not very generous, but you know, all right, all right. Um, container is empty. You're the, you're the hacked one, aren't you? Uh, just carry through the container field, just go. Bosh. <laughs> move, move. I'm done with you. Okay. A few more bits and pieces to pick up then, then we'll head back to the Game Master and uh, see what he says. Hackathon Game Master, congratulations, you finished the hackathon. It was quite a challenge. Well, your finishing rank was one and you collected six tokens. That means that you earned five 140,000 credits. We hope you had fun and we'll see you next time. Thanks! Boom! <laughs> awesome! Wow! That was cool. That is the best mission ever. Look at all the shinies. I can't even scroll down here without like... Oh boy. Look at these 
shield, energy to shield, the exotic fast chargings, and uh, all the other bluey crap and grey and white stuff that we're going to chuck into a research station. Look! Three warp thingies! Excellent! Out of that I can get a green and then I've, I've only got two, but you know. <laughs> I need more hyperdrive boosters, I really do. Gibbs, more hyperdrive boosters. Right, that thing right there, the D zero day injector. That's good. I like that one. Uh, that's very nice. Very nice. Okay, uh, and that's not to mention all the turrets that we got as well. Look at all the shiny turrets that we got. Look, a combat turret control subsystem 14. You know that's getting installed. You know that's going straight in there. Scanner booster, great for piracy. Efficient R miner, titanium. Uh, premium point defense, neonite, very nice. And a premium jewel laser, we're getting that straight on there. 136 DPS, very nice. Uh, this is the pulsing jackhammer. <laughs> the diggy diggy hole. <laughs> the note at the bottom, diggy diggy hole. <laughs> oh, fantastic, it's an R mining laser. Brilliant. Uh, chain gun. Chain gun. Triple E minigun. Not just chain gun. And a fierce dual pulse. We like in that. Dudes, this is awesome. Look at all the laser beams. Look at all the sexy stuff. That was hell of a mission. 31 double plus mage. <laughs> he definitely needs to go to a research place, I tell you. Uh, look at all the white crap. Yep. Okay. Uh, we're doing pretty well. We have a thousand slots, so we're at 358 of the buggers already. <laughs> this is doing all right. Ah, uh, that was fun. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was a hackathon. I don't know how I've come across that. It just did. It just happened. It was just a thing. One of those things that happened. Oh, God, I don't even know what I'm going to do now. I've got on me, actually, I need to go and refine stuff, I think. And, like I say, find a research place. Let's do a little searchy on the mappy mappers. Um, e search. There's one up there, look. Bingo. And there's loads of stuff up there. War Robot Factory. Damn! Okay. Uh, that's the faction headquarters there. There's some good sectors around here, actually. Trade post. Has that got a resource depot in it? It does. Fantastic. That's where we're going, then. Um, let's go via empty space so that we can get our nice little hyperdrive recharge boost. Nice work. That was good. It was good. Has any of you guys come across the hackathon? Because uh, that's new to me. That was a lot of fun. Enjoyed. Here we go. Research station. Now, a few of you mentioned in the chat before, I think, um, about the whole kind of mathematical stuff. Numbers and chances and, and yeah, complicated bits and bobs about the research station. Um, apparently it's better to use three uh, and just, just gamble on three rather than chucking five into this thing. So let's doctor this thing. Let's see what we got. Research, please. Uh, let's sort by type over rarity uh, because then we know what the hell we're doing when we can see which what how much of what we've got. Uh, so with lots and lots of turrets here, let's um, pick all the freaking chain guns. <laughs> oh my load. Oh my load. Sphinx. Got three Sphinxes. I have got like, uh, yeah, I got an exceptionable, exceptionable Sphinx. <laughs> Which apparently it uses, it's consumed on use. Uh, and or it's a 40% chance to be consumed, to not be destroyed. Um... And it hides your cargo from scanners. If you aren't doing smuggling, and I'm not really sure how smuggling is at all profitable at the moment. I don't know uh, whether it even is or not. I'm sure it is, but I, I, yeah, I don't know. Um, you know, that could be useful if you're running down the smuggling route of things. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so I'm going to start proceedings with the warp drive stuff. Hyperdrive enhancers here. Bam, bam, bam. Now, I think that's just going to give me a white back. I think because he's got a... There's a grey there. There's two whites. I think because we've got one of the lower tier, Petty, it's going to... Uh, it's going to just give us another white one back. Unless I add a green in there, which I can't do because the Petty ruins it. So, uh, I'm going to try it. Yeah, white one. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I called it. Didn't I call it? I called it. I said I called it. Anyway. That sucks. 
but I don't have the hyperdrive ones to really get any further. I just have to keep an eye out on the equipment docks. Every equipment dock I come across, I have to look and see if they've got one and then buy it, regardless of its quality. And then get a little stockpile going and hopefully build up maybe some blue ones eventually uh, through that methodology. I don't know. Anyway, so what I'm going to do here is I'm anything that's white, uh, to be honest, I might even start eating into some of the greens as well. I'm going to try and uplift as much of this as I can to blue quality or higher. Because uh, we have got oh, an exotic turret control system. That's just delightful. That is going in my ship. I am having that. I am going to do that one. But, you know, we've got other ones here that maybe I can get uh, another... Uh, another exotic because if I can make if I can make uh, these greens are blue yeah you know you know how it works you know how it works so I'm gonna spend a bit of time here and see if I can get um, some nice exotics out of this research stuff wish me luck there's another 1.16 million right there thank you very much and uh, oh uh, a regular double that's my gun okay thanks thanks I guess cheers <laughs> ah, awesome. Okay, see so you. I'm on my way to the equipment dock in this sector uh, to equip some of the new modules and stuff that I've managed to A, loot and B, research up into the the, the, the the quality of exotic. And I think that both the miscreant and the buccaneer can benefit from all of those. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to do a little retrofit. Meanwhile, my mining ship's over here. Uh, the scoundrel has still got 11 minutes of mining to do and then I might head over there and just make sure that they've got the tip top quality mining lasers among the three of them as well holy crap how's my energy just bombed out was I really holding boost that long apparently so uh, anyway that's what we're going to do so they'll be here in sort of four minutes or so and we'll get them kitted out with all the new stuff Okay, so, uh, in terms of the research, it was not overly successful. I did, obviously, trim, as you can see, quite significantly um, the uh, the amount of modules that we had. And I did get uh, a good few exotics, nice exotics, such as this shield, energy to shield converter, uh, here, which is definitely going to be coming with me. And here we've got two exotic turret control systems. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this turret control system out which is going to complain instantly about the number of turrets that i've got that's five plus two plus two plus six that's five plus two plus two plus five so we're definitely going to have that one thank you very much the other thing is this i'm going to remove that and i'm going to install permanently the exotic equivalent there shield durability plus 177 percent it does reduce my energy output however but that's okay um, it's worth it considering the last one was 33 <laughs> percent and already the shields are pretty damn good anyway so that's even better now uh very very happy with that our object detector is still badass there's also i've got an exotic arbitrary turret control system here as well as the uh, another combat one so uh we've got some good stuff out of that we've got some good stuff and there's a lot of uh, other bits and bobs that perhaps mm, i'm not going to be using straight away still running short on the hyperspace enhancers but i did get another green out of all of that so yeah win them through so i gotta keep an eye like i say on equipment docks throughout uh here are the boys so let's start with um zooming in so we can actually see them this is the buccaneer now the buccaneer is configured as a uh, trading vessel now so the buccaneer has a enhanced um cargo hold like twice the size of the one there on the pioneer now um but it is set up mostly for trade so cargo extensions basic radar it has a reasonable war drive and and of course the high-tech uh trading module which is the best trading module i have i could get her up to um 3.16 is required in order to unlock the seventh slot so let's go ahead and do that, shall we? We will modify the entire ship, because what is that, like 1%? 2% increase? Let's try it, 2%. Bingo, seven slots, done, achieved. <laughs> How good was that? Uh, so what we can do here then is install something, the arbitrary turret control system here. Big old lag spike. Please install the, the, the nice shiny that I just put in there. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. 
that gives us a few more turret slots. <laughs> so I'm going to armor to the teeth. I'm going to armor to the teeth now. Oh, yes. That's it. You see, that's it now. The Buccaneer, the original, has now got the highest firepower of my entire fleet. It only has two empty gun hard points now because of those modules. The Zotan one and that exotic turret control system. Uh, meaning that it has many, many guns. <laughs> it says many on auto fire. Uh, the lasers are all on auto fire. So the lasers will deal with like... I mean, it's going to be AI controlled, so I don't know what the AI does once it's out of my hands, but uh, ultimately, you know, these these guys are going to be all on defensive duties. And then it's manual fire ones that all just kind of... Chain guns and pulse cannons, basically. <laughs> so I don't know if it's going to need the freaking miscreant as an escort you know i don't just i don't know anyway um what i am going to do now is do the same thing to the miscreant that i've just done here to the uh to the buccaneer so swing that around look at that schmeckshi park you next to the pioneer good sir look at that broadside potential delicious beautiful lasers phases everywhere uh so we're going to do the same thing here with you good so we're trying to up your firepower as much as possible and then uh, let's see what we can do with your turret setup as well good sir because i'm not sure if you've got the best setup we do also have another combat turret system that uh, we could enhance your turret systems with let's do it all righty so i think this one's done as well and so the miscreant's firepower is now at 1.27 kom which is a little bit higher than it was um, thanks to a couple of select changes to the guns there. Uh, that now has an impressive chain and bolter fire plus pulse guns. Uh, but I've got lasers and, and plasma guns and stuff set as auto fire. Uh, pulse guns and stuff for auto fire as well. So there's even more firepower than that on there. Not to mention, obviously, it's uh, torpedo abilities. Although it doesn't have any torpedoes at the moment. That's fine. If he gets some, he'll get some. Uh, right, so back to... Uh, Pioneer here, which is our boat. Look at our little fleet. It's doing good, isn't it? Hey, up. What's going on here? What are you talking about? You don't have enough turret slots to control all turrets. Well, that's funny because I haven't changed. What? Ah, the Rapscallion has finished. Okay. Good. That's good because uh, look at all this stuff that he's just picked up. <laughs> ah! Wonderful! Find your I'm jewelry. Uh, very nice. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that as well. Okay, you've got some stuff on that you need to go and sell and uh, all sorts of stuff. Right, okay. So, <laughs> the uh, the mining fleet has finished mining its fleet. Um, so now I need to send each one of you out on a little mission to go get kind of... Because... Um, uh, 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 I'm all confused. Uh, help me. Yeah, because he's got minerals, silver, neonite ore, ores. So they need to go and get refined. That needs to get refined. That needs to get sold. All that needs to get sold. So the scoundrel and rapscallion need to go and refine. They all need to go and refine, to be honest. Look, because that's got scrap titanium on it. I send them all to refine, then I'll send them all on a, a cell mission together. I don't know uh, if that works or not. But um, uh, Ruffian, go and refine. Ambush probability, please be like zero. Because otherwise it's just going to make me sad that I'm going to have to go all the way over there to rescue you. Plus, I suppose I could send them all out on refining missions uh, as each other's escorts. I don't know. <laughs> it's just taking a long time to come up, isn't it? Right, yeah, there we go. Uh, fantastic. Go mine 0% ambush probability. Lovely. Scoundrel, do the same. Go and refine. And it's going to take... A little while for each one of these to come up, isn't it? Okay, I'll send them all to refine, and then I think what we're going to do is send the buccaneer back out on selling missions, and we're going to rinse and repeat this for a little while. These are my mine miners. They are type mining lasers. They've been getting me like well over a million neonite now. It's ridiculous. Uh, it's fantastic, and I'm going to keep them doing what they're doing best. I might have to move them around a bit, maybe up to here or or something. They obviously don't like mining in high population areas. They much prefer sort of. Um, no man's space which is very much down here but it's obviously dangerous and uh, they're not exactly the best equipped for 
pirate scummage around here now. Excellent. You get on with that then, son. Right, so those three are doing that. Now, the buccaneer. Uh, you, sir. We're going to send you on a new trade mission around these parts. Yep. Change you to that, because that just seems to work better. I don't know. Send you on that one. Nice trade route, please. What have you got? You've got 249,000. That's kind of rubbish. Teleporters. Oh, body armors. 568k. Now we're talking. Take the miscreant as an escort. Takes you down to 12% ambush possibility. Uh, down payment of 3.4 million. Yep, no problem. Estimated profit per run. Two runs. Of 568,000. Good to total 70. That should be good. Body armors. Make it so. Alright, Buccaneer, Miscreant are off. I've got to figure out what the hell is going on with the Pioneer here and why it's saying you don't have enough turret slots to control all turrets. When clearly, I have more than enough turret slots to control all turrets. Oh, it's the salvagers. Uh, did I change my... Oh, I suppose that did remove some of the, some of the civilian turret things, doesn't it? Ah, damn it. Okay, yeah, no, fine. But I do have more turret, like, weaponry turrets that I can add. So, okay, I'll have to do with just one of my salvage lasers are going to have to come off. Oh, well. Okay, well, that is fine because I'm going to put that scrap metal salvager on. And uh, that thing is going to do wonderful things because it's, where is it? There it is. Enhance the production of scrap metal. Not the best. Like that is salvages. Apparently it's neonite. So, but it is scrap metal production of that is going to be interesting. Uh, if I can make enough scrap metal, then uh, I can sell it for a profit. So, while I would like to set this thing up as a scrap merchant ship, for now it's very much combat orientated. But I think when I'm ready to do that, I can quickly switch this thing over to a lot of salvage turrets, uh, different different uh, systems, civilian systems. I think I have turret controls, arbitrary turrets there. There's a civil control there with four unarmed, another two defensive, and another two on that, and another three auto turrets on top of that as well. So we can do it. Give it a, a bigger cargo extension as well. Um, and you might have noticed, some of you might have noticed, that I have actually installed it since we got some trinium. I installed some fighter bays in there, in the sides there. That was always my intention for this ship, was to have fighter bays in the side. I think I might need to rejig the inside a little bit, but uh, I haven't got any fighters yet, but I do plan on it uh, because we have hangers now. And the other idea I had was I can get some uh, fighters that have salvage lasers, and then it can be a salvage carrier. And that means that you can just leave all the salvaging to the fighters and then have the ship just armed to the teeth. You don't have to sacrifice turret slots for, you know, unarmed turrets. The fighters can do it. So lots and lots of things we can do with this thing. Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna get into that in the next episode, I think. But for now, what I'm gonna do a bit off camera is um, go ahead and do some mining myself. Got a distress signal down in this region. These scrapyards here sell to these steel factories I think it's going to be a little bit of a money maker meanwhile rinse and repeat on these guys mining and trading and then uh, we should have enough money how much have I got 9 million to get a station in maybe a mine we're getting there guys slowly but surely we are getting there okay ladies and gentlemen that is going to be all for today thank you so much for watching I do hope you enjoyed hopefully I'll see you next time until then take care bye bye